Uh, this is the second video that I'm doing on um, this jack uh, by Safe Jack. It's uh, called the Ren Stand, model number 18M RS3. Now, my first video was titled A Comprehensive Review of the Ren Stand 18M RS3 by Safe Jack. And I will put a link to that below in the description. That first video was an hour long, and you might be asking, well, why are you doing a second? It's not a follow-up to the jack stand, uh, as much as it is just to, um, I guess people were having issues with this little item right here, this pin. I had um, several comments on my video and as I was uh, researching this rent stand prior to buying it, uh, there really wasn't any videos out there that were really showing it much. So that's why I did mine. And I would see comments by people, oh, those pins are no good. I'd never buy it. They're going to break. And I thought, well, these guys don't even own it. They don't know what the heck they're even talking about. So that's why <clears throat> I did the video. Uh, in the first place and uh, yet I was still getting some comments I got a comment from one guy which I ended up just uh, deleting his comments because they were of no value and made no sense and um, at one point I even told the guy you know why don't you just you know contact rent Stan, gave him the phone number and said they should uh, help alleviate any issues you might have with those pins and he said he wasn't going to do that and that he would just uh, not buy the stand. So what I did is I actually called Ren Stand back and I spoke to um, a Richard there but before I go any further with that what I want you to see <clears throat> on the right this is a jack stand and it is nothing to write home about. This is the first jack stand I ever bought back in the late 70s. I had a 19, it was either a 78 or 79. I believe it was a 78 Blazer. Now those things were big and heavy. Had a, a 305 V8 engine. And I would put, this was the jack stand that I used, okay, to put that full weight of the Blazer on to each corner so this was put in each corner and held up you know a blazer and those were heavy vehicles the dash was made out of steel now what I want to show you just for those that may not be old enough or I know today jack stands are made different but if you take a look at this pin that's in this jack stand let me pull the pin okay this pin, and I don't even know what the capacity of this jack stand is. The tag's worn off. I haven't used this in a long time. It's just been in my basement. But this pin is the same diameter that comes with the wrench stand. And I can show you. This is the wrench stand pin. Okay, off of another one that I've got. I bought, all, I bought four of them. And as you can see, it fits in there. So way back in the late 70s, they were using the same damn type setup using pins. And your vehicles were a whole hell of a lot heavier back then. So I, <clears throat> like I said, I decided to, to call SafeJack. Spoke to Richard. Now Richard is the president of Bogart Group International. Okay, now I um, had a nice conversation with him, and he said that they've been in business for 35 years, starting in 1983, uh, when he opened up Bogart Aviation. I'll share this with you. Robert had mentioned uh, something, now you, and you could look them up on the internet, but I'm just going to show you this. There you have Bogart International. And um, this is what's interesting right here is they made this special jack for the Humvees 
because as he was stating what would happen is with the jacks that they had they'd lift it up and uh, the vehicle would go sideways and destroy the jacks so they uh, he said they were given one week to come up with a design and uh, they came up with this and they got the uh, they got the job and if you go there you can see there's some videos on there too further Jack told me that their, their stands are tested to 150 percent of the rated load and they must not have any deformation so this little pin okay is three-eighths of an inch diameter and nothing was deformed bent damaged at hundred and fifty percent of the rated load now something else that I found of much interest you know I'm not an engineer but I know what shear is now something that Richard enlightened me on is that this pin is actually in double shear so in, instead of just one side the weight bearing on it you've got two points here bearing on it okay and um, so he said that the rated pin of 9,000 pounds that's a rating in single shear okay but this is in what he called double shear so the load becomes approximately twice the 9,000 pounds so to elaborate on that if this pin was in here like that and it was holding something the two pieces with force down on it that would be single shear but since it's all the way through that is double shear and look how stout that material is anyways uh, you can go back and you can check my first video if you haven't seen it because I make everything out for you another thing that uh, Richard happened to mention is that there's no fear of this spreading apart okay with the weight on here uh, these legs will not come out so he said that's all been tested okay so I hope this helped uh, just to be clear uh, I'm not being compensated uh, for this this is uh, my original test and this is just done on my own safe jack has not compensated me but I just wanted to clear up <clears throat> some of the things that I saw in the comments about the uh, pin and people thinking that the jack isn't safe that is uh, the furthest thing from the truth truth I've used this thing several occasions and have been very happy